what is up guys djx and yep this is it welcome to alola this is a how to use guide vgc 2017 for any one of your new favorite alola pokemon now speaking of alola pokemon i did not get the alone forms as they are not necessarily new just new design but still basically old pokemon from the cancel region and but however i did get an ultra beast which you'll see later in this video but anyway let's start off we got decidueye and that's basically two sets you can run. You have a bulky physical sweeper and a bulky special sweeper. You know, Swords Dance or Nasty Plot. Which I believe you get Nasty Plot by breeding, if I'm correct. And then you're going to have the physical one. Your next three moves are Brave Bird, Spirit Shackle, or either Roost or Leaf Blade. And then for the special one, your next three moves are going to be Energy Ball or Grass Knot, Shadow Ball, Roost, or HP Ground. Next up, we have Incineroar, which is can be either a all-out physical attacker or a special sweeper, kind of like the Decidueye one, which you're gonna have Nasty Plot and then this Overheat focus as well as in Dark Pulse. But the all-out physical attacker one will have Flare Blitz, either Throat Chop or Darkest Larry, which are both wonderful Dark type moves, Cross Chop and Earthquake. Next up, we have the final fully evolved starter, Primarina, at the Choice Specs, which I think is probably the best undisputed Pokemon starter between the three. You can run a Choice Specs set, which is actually not that bad. You have a choice between four water type moves Sparkling Aria, Scald, Surf, or Hydro Pump. You have Moon Blast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, or Psychic, and Ice Beam. You have a bulky spec set, and then you have a standard Dugong set. Which you can run, either make it a special wall, you have Toxic, Encore, Surf, and Ice Beam. Next up to the regional bird, we have Toucanon at the Choice Band, who's also a bulky offensive Pokemon, as you can see by its EV spread. So you want to, you want to have skill length for Rock Blast and Bullet Seed, and then U Turn, and then here's kind of the debate. You could use Brave Bird, you could also use Beak Blast, which if you if you hit the opponent, you can get burnt. However, I just feel safe using Brave Bird because I mean at least when you're dishing out damage you just you know just go all out and just attack. But you know if you want to use Beak Blast you can. Next we have the regional normal type gum shoes, who is um not that really doesn't have really a lot of good defenses or speed, but still has some wonderful attack and a wonderful ability stake out, which is actually the reason why it's pursuit. And it kinda of has a limited move pool to have either return or thrash. Earthquake and U turn. Next up, we have the regional bug type Vika Vault, the leftovers. I believe it's the regional bug type. With, yeah, once again, another standard bulky set. Toxic, Roost, Thunderbolt, and Bug Buzz, which is pretty good. Uh, pretty good moves that you asked me. However, if you wanted to be a sweeper, you want to take that much risk, Life Orb, 252 speed. Special attack and foreign special defense, Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, Air Slash, and Agility, which should work just fine for you. Next, we have Crabonable with the Choice Band. Also, another bulky attacking Pokemon with Crab Hammer, which you'll get from Corp. Uh, I won't say Corp, wow. Which will you get from your pre evolution, close combat, Earthquake, and Ice Hammer. So, yeah, just remember, you'll get Crab Hammer from Craballer. Next, we have a very, um,. Unique bird Pokemon or Akoria, which kind of depends on um different kind of styles. Pom Pom, Sensu, Braille, and I forgot the other one. Oh my gosh! But anyways, yeah, the red one is the fire type. The purple one is the ghost type. The pink one is the psychic type, and the yellow one is the electric type. So you're gonna want to run uh actually want to run a fast set this time actually. So yeah, standard timid nature attacking set, revelation dance, hurricane or air slash. I like to take a risk and go with hurricane, roost and calm mind. Next up we have Rabombi, the focus sash, which you actually this the reason there's actually a valid reason why I have this set, cause it actually has some precent, pretty decent. I said precent, well, yeah, pretty decent special attack. And you're you're gonna have quiver dance anyways, and so you know just you know just go ahead with it, you know. Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, or its signature move, Pollen Puff, Dazzle Gloom, or Moon Blast, and Energy Ball. Now, you could switch to 4 Defense into the Special Attack if you want. 
Next, depending on what game you're playing, you're playing Sun, you're going to get Like and Rock Midday form with the Choice Band. It's Signature Priority Move, Axle Rock, either Rock Slide or Stone Edge, Fire Fang, and Sucker Punch. Next, if you're going to have Like and Rock Mid Midnight form, if you're playing Pokemon Moon, which will be a bulky setup support, no guard, Stone Edge, Sucker Punch, Brick Break, and Sword Stance. Next up, we have Wishy Washy, who actually has some pretty decent stats should it change to a school form. So, yeah, you're going to want to put your EVs in attack and special attack, and then put the four in defense. I think, I think running mix is better. It's just a, you don't really have a lot of variety, but at least you still cover some types, you know? So, you're going to want to use Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Earthquake, and U Turn for that. So, yeah, we have Toxapex, Toxapex with a rather uh, unique set compared to the other ones. Kind of like an Amoongus related set. You're going to want to give it Toxic Spikes, Venom Shock, Baneful Bunker, and Scald. Which should work just well as long as you play your cards right and Toxic Spikes stays in the battle long. Alright, we have Mudsdale, who's also kind of slow. But it can still dish out a lot of damage. And gets defensive boost with ability, stamina. So you're going to want to give it the Choice Band. Once again, a bulky offensive set. Earthquake, Close Combat, Rock Slide, and either Heavy Slam or Gyro Ball, depending on whether you want that Steel type move or not. Next, we have Araquanid at the Leftovers, who's actually kind of a defensive Pokemon, not really an offensive Pokemon, which is alright. So you're going to want to run that, because you have two offensive moves, Leech Life and Waterfall. You're also going to have Stockpile and Toxic. Next up, you have Lorantis with the Life Orb or the Choice Band. With 252 attack and special defense with 4 HP. Now the life warp set is gonna be kind of risky using the um the swords dance attack. It should it should work over well, overall well. And also I think if you have plus two, you should be able to uh, take out a lot of Pokemon if you're lucky. So yeah, you're not gonna use swords dance obviously if you're using the choice band set. You're gonna be running X's instead. Trop Kick, High Jump Kick, and Poison Jab. Next up, we have Shinotic, or Shinotic, however you pronounce it, with the leftovers. 2v2 in Special Defense, and you're going to split the rest in Special Attack and HP. Spore, Giga Drain, Charge Beam, and then either Toxic, a Signature Move, Strength Sap, Moonlight, or Confuser. This actually worked out pretty well. I mean, it's not really like a Moongus, but at least you get access to Spore and Giga Drain, which should help you pretty well but watch out for poison types and speaking of poison types we have Salander and its evolution Salazzle now I put Salander on here because I mean what if somebody doesn't want to use Salazzle necessarily I don't know why but you want to use it in the VLI set because it actually has some pretty decent stats for a basic Pokemon so I'm not going to judge you might it's best to give the VLI though put the 252 speed and special attack and put the rest in HP Nasty Pot, which will boost your special attack to a great level. Flamethrower, Sledge Bomb, and just for filling with Gold Willowus, you know, just burn the opponent. Slazzle, which is basically the same set, however, you have four defense. And either the Focus Sass, you're running Nasty Plot, or the Choice Specs, you run Overheat, along with Fire Blast, Sledge Bomb, and Dragon Pulse. The thing with the Specs Slazzle, you're trying to dish out as much damage as possible. Next, we have Beware. Who can either be a rest talk Pokemon or a just choice band or citrus berry Pokemon. Now, if you're going to be using the citrus berry, go with Swords Dance. Choice band, you have either Dragon Claw, Shadow Claw, or Brutal Swing. No matter, regardless of the set, you're going to be having Return, Hammer Arm, and Earthquake. Next, with Sarina, or Serena, whatever you pronounce it, 252 in attack, and then split the rest between its defenses. Trop Kick, High Jump Kick, Play Rough, and your Acrobatics U-Turn or Rapid Spin. If you're not going to use Acrobatics, I would give it the Leftovers. Yeah, I think I would do that. Or the Assault Vest, actually. Next up, we have Comfy with the Leftovers. Not really an offensive Pokemon, but could still dish out a lot of damage. You're going to want to have Synthesis because of your ability Triatch, which gives healing moves, I think, a priority of three, if I'm right. So, you mean, you have, like, Protect base priority for healing, which is actually pretty neat. Two, you're going to put the uh, your first 252 in Special Defense, 
And instead of putting 252 in another set, 248 in HP, 8 special attack, Dazzling Gleam, Synthesis, Sweet Kiss, and Amnesia or Energy Ball. Our next version exclusive, if you're playing Pokemon Moon, you will get Orangaroo, which is a special defense wall with Toxic, Foul Play, Slash Out. So basically, Hypno, you, have, you don't have a Thunder Wave. You're going to have Instruct, which is actually a really good move. It'll Persimian, you can either run Adamant or Jolly, it doesn't really matter. Either Choice Scarf or the Choice Band with Close Combat, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and U Turn. Next up, we have Gold Spot, and depending on which one you're running, the Swords Dance, Leftover Set with um, X's or Waterfall Sucker Punch, or the Choice Banded Set with X's or Waterfall Sucker Punch and Poison Jab. Palo Sand, Palo Sand, where, yeah, we're gonna sit with the Rocky Helmet. Put the 252 in defense, because this is gonna help stockpile a lot. Along, let's put it right down 172 and 84 with HP and Special Attack, respectively. Shore up, which is basically like slack off. You can heal yourself up. Sock pile, Giga Drain, and Earth Power. For this one, it is a ghost type, but make sure you switch into water type moves because you do get healed up by 50%, if I'm right. Demise or Demise at the Citrus Berry. 2v2 in HP and attack, put the rest in defense. However, this is going to be unique. We're going to, put, we're going to want to have one with zero speed IVs for Gyro Ball, which will get. Stab from its ability, Steel Worker, along with Swords Dance, Power Whip, and either Shadow Claw or Rapid Spin. Next up, we have Savall, which you can use in a variety of ways. So, if you're going to use a physical one, give it the memory type, which one of all you want. With the speed, special attack, and the defense. Have multi attack, it's going to help you. And then you have a choice of either Dragon Claw, X is a Crunch, Return, Shadow Claw, Steel Wing, Flame Charge, Rock Side, or U Turn. If you're going to use a special one I would just go with the normal type you know no wrong with that base same set pretty much should be have 2v2 and special attack rather try attack and then either flamethrower thunderbolt ice beam air slash shadow ball flash cannon or surf next we have pukamuku I left those which actually if I'm right the second or fourth Pokemon to not have an attack move like you know one you can attack with like physical special base power move yeah Anyways, you want to run a curse set, so put 252 in special defense along with HP and 4 in defense. Toxic, curse, memento, and recover. Be careful for taunt. That will mess this set up completely, and you have nothing to do but struggle. Next, we have Mini Orb with the white or with the white herb. You can run a physical one, but I just use a special one. I think it just has like over a better special move pool. So yeah, put 252 in special attack and an 84 in speed and the rest in HP. Shell Smash which is going to be your main move with Power Gem, Psychic, or Charge Beam. You also have uh, Filler Moves such as Ancient Power and Dazzling Gleam if you don't want to use either Power Gem or Psychic. Next up, next up we have Kamala with the Leftovers or the Citrus Berry. You're going to have Bulk Up, so put 252 in special defense along with 4 in defense and put the rest in special attack. Uh, attack, excuse me, make it an adamant nature, bulk up, return, wood hammer, and then once again, another Pokemon with a wide variety of moves either Sucker Punch, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Brick Break, or Shadow Claw. Next up, we have Turtonator with the White Herb with 2v2 in special attack, 172 in HP, and 84 in speed. You need to be kind of careful with the speed, it's not really fast, so you just gotta be careful. Shell Smash, Shell Trap, or Fire Blast, Drink Comedia, or Dragon Pulse, and a Flash Cannon and Focus Blast. So it really depends on how you want to use this. Next, I have Togedemaru, which is the region's Pikachu clone with the Air Balloon. Two, you have basic standard attack set. You're we going to have 4 on HP because of the Air Balloon. Wild Charge, U-Turn, Poison Jab, and Fell Sting, which will boost your special attack. Attacks, oh wow, excuse me. By 2, which would be uh, beneficial because you have Wild Charge. So it'll be a great amount of damage done thanks to Stab. Next we have Drampot if you're playing Moon. And by the way, I forgot to mention Turtoners and Sun. I apologize for that. You're going to have an ability called Berserk, which is actually really wonderful with this set. It works a lot well with this. Yeah, so bulky setup Pokemon. Calm Mind, Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, and either Hyper Voice, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, Energy Ball, and Shadow Ball. I think overall the best one would be hybrid voice because of the stab, because you are normal and dragon type. 
Next, we have Koma O, which is the region's pseudo legendary with the focus hash. Standard uh, setup set, Dragon Dance. And then, depending on how you want to run it, either Dragon Claw, Skyrim Cut, Poison Jab, or Outrage, Brick Break, and Aerial Ace. Next, we have Bruxish with the Life Orb, who has an ability, which I forgot what it was called, Dazzling. And it cancels priority, so Talon Farm is going to be at a big risk along with Scizor. And any other Sucker Punch users. So yeah, standard attacking, standard life orb attacking set. So we have four in defense. Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Psychic Fangs, which is a wonderful new move. Crunch, and then Ice Fang, which is basically a filler move. You know, you can hit Garchomp with something. Next we have a kind of a Pikachu clone, I guess. <laughs> with Mimikyu, which is actually a rather... Unique set, and you don't have to necessarily run this. It's actually kind of bad if you don't know how to use Mimikyu. I do, so that's why I decided to use this set with Home Claws or Swords Dance, Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and a Leech Life or Exorcism. Now, instead of running the Razor Claw, you also run a fast variant with the Life Orb or a bulky one with the leftovers, and you get to give it Swords Dance, Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and Wood Hammer. Moving on from regular Pokemon, we do have the Island Guardians. As you can see from their sets, Tapu Koko is more of a physical offensive Pokemon. U-Turn is going to be perfect, considering you can switch out any Pokemon to the ground type that might be getting into your way. Tapu Lele is more of a setup Pokemon, bulky special setup Pokemon with Calm Mind, Moonblast, and Psy Shock, along with a filler move, which is Energy and Thunderbolt. Our next two, we have either Tapu Bulu. And, or Tabu and Tabu Fini, which Tabu Fini is basically a Call My Defog set, and then Tabu Bulu is more of a Swords and setup set, as you can see by their move sets. Next up, depending on what version you are playing, we have Sogaleo and Lunala, which will be at either a which will be at a choice item. Sogaleo with the choice pick, Lunala with the choice picks, respectively. So as you can see, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like Lunal has more coverage, but Solgaleo has a lot of powerful moves. So for Solgaleo, you're going to want to run your signature move, Sunsteel Strike, along with Zen Headbutt, Flare Blitz, which is wonderful coverage, and either Wild Charge or Earthquake. With Lunal, you're going to want to use your signature move, Moon Geist Beam, along with Moon Blast, Air Slash, and your Psychic or Ice Beam. But Psychic might be better because of Stab, however Ice Beam will be coverage. Moving on to the Ultra Beast, we have Ultra Beast 1 with either life of the air balloon. Basically, acid spray, and then you can one shot anything from there. Except with Charge Beam, because it only base 50 power. Next, if you're playing Pokemon Sun, you'll get Buzzwall with Choice Band. Leech Life is probably Leech Life is much better than Lunch. However, Lunch does has a 100% chance to lower the opponent's attack by one. Either Super Power or Hammer Arm. You might as well just go with Hammer Arm. You're not going to be fast anyways. And then you have the Edge Quake combo. Next up, we have Fermosa with Focus Sash and Life Orb. Oh, sorry about that. This thing is basically the new version of Deoxys Attack. It's frail, but it hits hard. Be careful how you use it. You've been warned. Either High Jump Kick or Focus Blast, depending on how you want to run this. Lunge, Ice Beam, and Poison Jab. We have Zekatry, who has a massive amount of special attack. With Tail Glow, which will just make it off the charts. Thunderbolt, Signal Beam, or Dazzling Gleam. And Energy Ball. Next up, we have... If you're playing Moon, you'll get this one, Celesteela. However, if you're playing Sun, you'll get Kartana. Kartana is basically like, you know, just... He hits hard. Has second highest attack stat of all Pokemon. Still being beat by Mega Heracross. With X Scissor, Leaf Blade, Brick Break. If you want to go for a risk, use this Focus Sash, Focus Sash Set, and Swords Dance. And then Moon, you have pretty crappy set. It's kind of difficult, but um, because I mean, it doesn't really get like a decent move pool. I mean, you could run Specs, but I mean, yeah, with Sleep Talk, it just depends on how you're gonna play it. And we have our last Ultra Beast Guzzlord, which is as a four times weak to Safari, so please be careful with how you use this with Draco Meteor, Crunch, Fire Blast, and Earthquake. A mix set will definitely help you because then you don't have any defenses or speed. 
And last we have a Ultra Beast Reminiscent Pokemon. Konekrizoma, the Rocky Helmet. With 252 Special Attack, 172 Defense, and 84 HP. Along with a signature move, Prismatic Glitter, Laser, Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, and Moonlight. Now before we move on to our last Pokemon, I just want to cover some things. Like I said before, you can always run a... You always run special sleep talk spec set with flash cannon, giga drain, fire blast, and a move of your choice. As well as for Coma O, please give it soundproof because a pixelated hyper voice will completely destroy this thing if you don't have it. It should be Mega Gardevoir and Sylveon will hit hard. Oranger is going to be great for doubles. However, please be careful you have a physical wall. Make sure you have a Pokemon like Reflect, reflect or something. Careful how you manage to heal your heal the targets with Triage and Synthesis with Comfy. Watch out for poison types with Shadotic. And when it comes to using Oracorio, just remember that you are a flying type. You have a weakness to Stealth Rock. And you are kind of frail. Also with Toucanon, just keep in mind that you want to hit hard. Just try to do as much damage as possible. That's pretty much the same thing with the Life War variant of Cinnavore and the Choice Space variant with Primarina. So, yeah, and now to our last one, Majorna, which is the first Alone Pokemon revealed, the man made Pokemon with the Choice Specs 2v2 HP, Special Attack, and 4 Speed. Use Floor Cannon, which is basically the Special version of Draco or a fairy version of Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a big project. I'm so glad I got to do it. Follow me on Twitter, donate to my Patreon, and just check out my other content. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.